morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, can you see my screen? Yes. Cool. Um, so I'm going to present the domain adaption and sequence to sequence syntax recognition. Um, uh, I will introduce the paper in and just give the overall the uh, review. Ignore the details. For all the details, you can refer to my paper. Um, I well, first of all, I want to I want to introduce the background. So, STR syn syn to uh, syntax uh, text recognition is to recognize text in the camera captured image. So these are all the image we captured in the uh, real scenario, and then this STR is to recognize the text uh, from this. A complex background uh, text image. So we usually use STR can can be used for the indoor and outdoor navigation, uh, contact content based image search, and uh, instant translation and many more. Uh, this is a pretty important area. Uh, there the challenge for the STR. Um, is that text appeared in huge amount of variation. So when we take a picture, uh, you know, we may have a different uh, uh, variation of the image. The image may have a very complex background. They have the trees behind it and uh, their color, uh, probably, you know, uh, we, we in different background. And then we may have the curved text image. They may not like, you know, light horizontally or vertically. They may have curved. And the women also have the blurry test. It's a kind of hard, even people can, people may even feel very hard to read it. So, so the naive approach is uh, we can take a lot of the picture and we try to collect a large amount of allotted text image captured in the lecture sign, lecture scenes to cover all the diversity for the model training. But the, actually this is very time and effort unavailable. So there we are a lot of, because we have a lot of diversity of different font, different size, different background, and the different curve. So it is almost impossible. Uh, we uh, capture different diversity from the real from the lecture scene. So, so another approach is uh, we use the synthetic data set. So synthetic data set generated uh, artificially, and uh, there are some of the popular synthetic data set like the MJ and ST, they are, they are generated uh, using different image processing technique. And each of the data set include more, uh, probably like eight to four, around eight, five to eight million images. Uh, but the problem is the synthetic text image is different with the real world text image. Their background may still them, them not match and uh, they may have a you know different if you know effect on the image when we take a, when we take a picture and uh, we may you know the, the camera may in different uh, condition so they they may not exactly match the synthetic text image so there's a, a domain discrepancy so if we treat the the synthetic data set as a source domain and the, uh, the real world image as the target domain. So, so in order to be used the model trained from the source domain to be used for the target domain, um, we may need to do the domain adaption. So if we can somehow um, to transform from the source domain to a intermediate domain, and at the same time from the target domain to a intermediate domain. So we, we during, this, during this transformation, if we can remove the domain a specific feature, just keep the domain, inver the, the, just keep the domain invariant feature, then we can try to uh, map from the source and target to an intermediate domain. So in the intermediate domain, source and the target image, we looks more similar with each other. Um, so the tactic we are use is called a um, graduate vanish bridge. So the idea is 
Um, so this picture I get from the reference uh, reference six, uh, figure three. So the, the uh, grand uh, gradually vanished bridge called the GVB. Uh, GVB is also is already used for the image classification. So the idea is uh, you can see the, the blue one, it is um, a source domain. And if we use the uh, like the, the orange one for the target domain. So if we you know, minimize the domain specific uh, feature and then we try to maximize uh, the intermediate domain. So the intermediate, the intermediate domain can be overlap with the source and the target. If, if we can maximize this intermediate domain and then the model trained for the source domain can be used for the target domain. So, so you can see before we do the uh, domain adaption, there's kind of a small overlap. So if model trained for the source domain can only recognize a small piece of the data in the target domain. But if we maximize, then we should have you know, you know, uh, a more overlap. Okay, so this is the idea. Um, and in this paper, we apply the GVB idea with again to the same sequence to sequence syntax rec recognition. Uh, as a general uh, STR uh, image uh, STR uh, process, we need to do the image pre-processing to do the feature extraction, and then to do the sequence modeling to get the, the context, and then we do the uh, character prediction. Um, so there are, there are different kind of the technique we can apply for each of the stage. So in this paper, we use a TPS for the uh, pre-processing and I use ResNet50 for the feature extraction. And we use the BIOSTM for the sequence modeling. For the prediction, there are two uh, popular prediction technique, one called a CTC and another one called attention. The CTC actually uh, is faster, but the, the prediction accuracy is not as good as attention. But for attention, they cost more time and more memory to do the prediction. But usually attention may have a better prediction accuracy. So, you, so in our platform, when we run the experiment, we found that attention runs twice, cost twice the time as CTC. So in, in my experience, so my experiments, because of the CTC, it's, it's much faster than attention and the CTC um, is widely used for, uh, for in the industry. So because of the speed. So we use the CTC in our uh, research. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, domain adaption, adaption based approach we used in the STR. And uh, so here we apply the idea for the uh, graduate vanishing bridge here. We apply in the, uh, after the sequence modeling and then we apply um, with the discriminator. So the idea for the GVBS, uh, the first GVB, GVB uh, that G, we model the domain specific feature, and then we remove the domain specific feature. So we want to keep the invariant feature. So to to do the uh, recognition, and for the disc discriminator, we use the bridge to model the distance between the trained discriminator and the ideal one. So we minus the difference. We also try to, uh, you know, uh, let our discriminator close to the ideal one. So this is the uh, general uh, architecture for the, uh, our proposed approach. Um, so we calculate the loss and we do the training um, so in our experiment, we use different data set. Two of the synthetic data set we use at actually is MG, MJ and ST. These are the two most popular synthetic data set um, we use for the training. And we use, also use several real world text uh, data set. Uh, the IIT, SVT, these are all very popular one. 
And the last one called the QD80, that is a data set consists of very cropped and but uh, many of them are curved text image for our evaluation. Um, and uh, also we use the IAM. So IAM actually is a handwritten uh, image text data set and we just you know use the, uh, this data set and use the uh, cropped image from this data, data set. We also test our um, uh, and proposed uh, approach. So uh, this is the uh, result. So we compare with the bare bone CTC with our approach. At the same time, we also compare with attention. So just want to remind that attention costs much more time than, than CTC. Um, but you really attention achieve the higher uh, prediction accuracy. So you can see here, so our uh, result is here, uh, compared with the bare bone CTC, uh, we, uh, most of the data set, we achieved uh, higher prediction accuracy, uh, especially for IC15 and uh, for the IIT, uh, IIIT, we achieve 1% more. Uh, comparing with the attention, some of our data set, the performance is not as good as attention, but remember CDC is much faster. Attention costs more time, more, almost double time as a CDC in our experiment. Um, so we also evaluate the result on the uh, handwriting data set IAM. And from here you can see, so our proposed approach uh, actually, you know, is the best among all the experiment, especially for the uh, child level accuracy, we achieve, you know, up to four or 5% better, even compared with, comparing with attention. Okay, so uh, this is the experiment. Um, so we, uh, so actually in this people, we proposed our approach using the graduate evaluation bridge and uh, to improve the recognition performance, especially our result, especially uh, improved in the handwritten text. And the next work, we can apply the GVB to attention because right now we only apply that uh, GVB in the CDC and we really want, uh, and we also want to, uh, to, to see, uh, you know, what's, you know, what's the effect if we want to apply the GVB to the attention to see if we can get a further performance improvement. So this uh, actually is the, uh, the high level um, explanation for our approach for the technical details, uh, you can read the paper. And um, thank you. We thank Sen Lee for his presentation. If you have any question, you are welcome. So we have one question of uh, Thales Aguiar. Uh, is there any hypothesis on why the results were better on high writing text? Um, I think in the real world uh, text image, uh, they may have more like the, uh, uh, di di the they may ha have more variation. The text may curve, they have a different background, but handwritten, uh, they are all horizontal uh, text image and also backgrounds, all the gray or the kind of the, the black. So I think that's probably one of the reasons. But we are going to do more experiment to see if any other things we can find out. Thank you, Sen. We have another question uh, from Marjorie. Did you only use accuracy to compare the results? Did yeah, we use any other metric. Uh, we use the child level and the, the word level. We use both. So we calculate the word recognition for as a whole uh, word, and also we calculate each we calculate each character. Thank you, Sen. Any other question? Thank you, everyone. Thank you.